Yeah, I mean, I thought we had some good looks in the first period, especially um, four or five chances point blank. I mean, if you can bury one of those or two of those, it's obviously a different game. And, uh, you know, we have to we have to bear down and capitalize on those. We've been getting a lot of chances. We just, uh, you know, we, we got to generate more goals. And we've had now, you know, a lot of games against the Checkers that have been really close. You know, uh, three shutouts amongst the two teams in four games. Uh, what is about the playing the Checkers that kind of keeps things low scoring? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, they, they play a good game. They... Uh, they're good with the puck. Uh, they make smart plays. Their defensemen have some poise with the puck. They just don't rim pucks and throw them away. Um, you know, they have some skill. Obviously, you saw from their first goal, the forward picks up the puck at center ace and just goes through our whole team and scores. Uh, we were on a bit of a bad line change, but um, you know, I mean, overall, I thought we I thought we did enough to to generate a few goals and make it a closer game. But uh, credit their goaltender played well. No, uh, two games. Uh, without the captain Jake Dowell and without Mash, does that kind of affect the team chemistry, like on the bench and on the ice at all? Kind of mess with things in the locker room at all? Or? Uh, I don't really think so. I mean, you go through the season with different guys in and out of the lineup because of injury or call ups, and uh, uh, it gives guys like Mosey and Lundberg and Johnson uh, opportunity to get more ice time, and then obviously guys like Kenneth Strohs and Mott can get double shifted at times, and sometimes that helps them out because it gets them into the game more and and, uh, and gets their legs going. And, um, you know, so I think it sometimes it helps. So obviously you're going to miss a guy like Dowsey and Mash and their leadership, but uh, it's nice to have options right now and have some guys that can fill in. And so we just topped off a five-game homestand, which you know, by any stretch of the means, definitely a successful homestand. Uh, but now long road trip, how do you kind of transfer that, the success here at home onto the road? Well, we just got to put this one behind us, and uh, you know we've been on a great stretch. I think uh, you know we got points in seven or eight straight games until tonight. So we just have to start all over again in Manitoba and come out. I mean, I'm, we're not disappointed with the way we played tonight at all. I just I didn't think we had that extra push in the first two periods like we did in the third period. I think that's natural though. When you're down, you're gonna you're gonna push and uh, and push harder and get more involved in the offense. And I think we just need to do that from the start of the game.